We are going to go to the next phase now that we have developed a glide kip and we've developed handstand holds is how do you put the two together? And first thing you're gonna need is plant strength and confidence. Many children are afraid to lean over the bar to cast, and the reason that being is that they're not strong enough. So Dari Ellis is going to show you a conditioning exercise where you're gonna see her make a shape, press forward, and then press backward. And she slides her body in, and then she pushes her body back. And so what she's doing is she's training the strength to be able to put her shoulders in front of her wrists for the beginning of a cast. This is a partner spotting station where you do the same exercise. There's the nice shape and they go over and they try to get themselves over the bar versus me trying to really push her over the bar. I want her doing the work of pulling herself forward, rounding her back and then pushing away from the bar in the nice hollow shape. Here it is, this is where the cast begins. Shoulders over the wrists, looking down at the floor. Working always to get the shoulders over the wrists so that your center of gravity, which is your hips, is ready to go up to a handstand. This is building confidence and strength to lean forward and look down at the floor for the start of the cast out of the kip. Now Lily's gonna show you after lots of work how to be brave to keep the shoulders over the wrists and tip the handstand onto a very safe surface. Doesn't need to go to handstand. This is an exercise in staying over the bar and falling over and feeling safe. All right, Lily, let's do that one more time. Your shoulders are going to move towards the floor. Something has to go down for something to go up. Looking at the floor, very nice. Now we're gonna put it all together. Now, Dari Ellis is going to start by doing a kip to a horizontal cast and coming right back to support. Let's do that one more time. Hold on one second. When you're doing the kips, it is impossible to do a proper kip cast without a kip that finishes in straight arms. So if they finish the kip with their arms bent, have them straighten their arms, hold their feet under the bar, and then do the cast versus just casting from the bent arm position. Could you demonstrate a bent arm kip, please? Okay, right here. So she started, now she went right back after bend your elbows. She finished like this. Okay, now instead of just rolling off into the cast, I want her to get into the proper shape, the proper position. Now do horizontal cast to support. Very good. Lily is gonna demonstrate a combination of all three put together because her shaping now is in a strong position. She blocks the bar, extends, holds the feet under, hollow shape. Look at the elbows, the elbows are straight. So as she gets stronger, that will go right up to a handstand.